Yo, what is going on everybody? Expert Gamer here and I'm coming at you guys with the answering video for my 1000 subscriber Q&A. I got a lot of questions. I think I got around like 50. I don't know, so I'm just going to go through them right now. Thank you all for 1000 subscribers. I still can't believe that I hit that crazy goal and hopefully we can hit 2k within like two months maybe I don't know but yeah let's get right into it so the first question was from my man Afebe Fabian congrats on 1k yo if you can smash any girl in the world who would you pick um that's a hard one I'd have to probably say hmm hmm I'd have to go with I can't really think of this right now. It'd take way too long. I'm just gonna go with the classic Kate Upton. There you go. Question number two. What is your favorite Pokemon spin of? Probably that, um, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Um, Pokemon Puzzle League. There you go. Yeah, Pokemon Puzzle League. I thought that game was kind of fun. And last of all, why you want that faggot shit? I ain't forget about you, Fabian. You just a minor pest. The word took a faggot Alright. <laughs> that is an inside joke. <laughs> Alright, from Yoshi Rocks, congrats on 1k, thanks yo. Razor, you wanna make out? I'm I'm content with staying away from guys. But if you're into that, that's cool. I'm just kidding, I know you're not, but no. Alright, Sly Slayer95, my man Jacob Sly. <laughs> Who's your best friend? My best friend is probably Riley. I knew I met Riley about five years ago. And we met in fourth grade. I don't know if it's exactly five years. I'm just saying that. So sorry if it's not. But we met in fourth grade. And what happened was I played a lot of video games when I was in elementary school. I still do now. But like Xbox, I stay on that Modern Warfare 2 grind. That game is that game was beautiful. And it is still beautiful. I bought it on Steam today. It's awesome. And... um I was like, I was talking about Modern Warfare 2, and apparently he had the game too on Xbox, so we trade gamer tags, and we've just been best friends ever since, he's chill. Uh, we actually in, I think it was 5th grade, we played, um, there was like some bootleg lime wire. <laughs> it was so bootleg, like underground dodgeball leagues, like thing. And we went on it, on like the same team and everything, like, I don't know what you call it, like, you try it out for it I guess and yeah we both got on it and that was fun it was just like a little summer thing it was actually really fun we'd like just take the ball just do that kamehameha throw it at their face and it'd just be so nice hearing that like that clapping sound right when it hits their face <laughs> all right professor Porygon grads expert on hitting 1k thanks you this is a weird question but a few days ago I met you on the Pokemon search system in X and Y I challenged you to a battle but you never responded um I would let my, th if it was me, like, just by chance, because, you know, there's probably more experts out there, but if it was me by chance, it was probably just me, um, leaving, because, like, I leave my 3DS on a lot, like, let's say we're getting ready to do free-for-alls or something and Midnight Noctowls, or I'm getting ready to battle somebody, I just leave my 3DS on until they're ready, I don't turn it on when they're ready, just have that ready to go, but I don't look at it, so if it wasn't me, I'm sorry, but if you hit me up on Twitter, maybe we could battle, there you go. And the next one is from Throw That Shit, my man Throw, coming through, congrats bro, thanks. What made you want to start making YouTube videos? Pretty much like a lot of everybody's reasons, it's just boredom. Because like, I used to watch people, just, like, do you, not even just Pokemon. My channel was actually originally supposed to be just games in general, that's why I'm expert gamer. I decided never to change it, so here I am. So, what made you want to start making YouTube videos? Just seeing everybody do it, like all the gamers and stuff. And I just said, you know, if they can do it, why can't I? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The transition didn't work. Okay, there. <laughs> Congrats, bud. Well learned. My question is, what is your favorite type of video to record? LPs, Wi-Fi battles, or other coming from my man, Silent Game Rage? I haven't talked to you in a bit, like, on Skype. You should definitely hit me up, man, if you're watching this. Um, I like to record LP is more than Wi-Fi, but that does not mean that I love recording in general. Like, in general, recording is just so fun, but I like LPs just because it's more interesting. Things just happen as you go along, not like a Wi-Fi battle where it's just, this happened, he switched out, I switched in, stuff like that, but Wi-Fi battles are still very fun to record, I love them, I love them. Next question is from Hollow Gengar, what kind of food is your favorite? 
Oh, but kind of food, you mean like, let's say I said cereal. I don't give you a specific cereal, but I just say cereal. But I'd probably have to say cereal. <laughs> I love cereal so much. Cereal is like, if cereal's a person, he would be that nigga. Cereal's that nigga, yo. I love cereal. Oh my god. <laughs> Jack Haywood says, would you rather beat up people with Nick or eat some ass with David? Um, beat people up with Nick, I would never... <laughs> I would never eat as in general, but now that you're saying with David, that just pushes it out of proportion. I would never eat as in general, not with David, because he's the as eating master. But uh, yeah, so beat people up with Nick, <laughs> definitely. Pancaking Paladin says, if Goku stopped eating, would you join the Pokemon world? If so, what's your favorite fruit? If not, what? If Goku stopped eating, I guess that's supposed to be a quite. If Goku stopped eating. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he'd be faster. Maybe he wouldn't gain weight, but it looks like he doesn't gain weight. I don't know. Would you join the Pokemon world? Um, it depends. It depends. Would I be a trainer? Or would I just be like some random dude walking on the street trying to get some groceries for the fam or something? Like, what would it be? What would it be? Um, if I was a trainer, definitely. If I was just one of those randoms, no. No, 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 no. If so, what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit would probably have to be... Um, what's my favorite fruit? Probably watermelon. Like, I'm black. <laughs> I'm half black, so it, that's not the reason I like watermelon. It's just, it's just good. It's there. If not, chubby Pikachu or slim Pikachu? Um, let's go with the, let's go with the, let's go with the chubs. Nah, let's go with the, uh, let's go with the slim, slim Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one from our man Seth. Paralyzed hacks, word to Kafagus. If you want the Fagus shit, I ain't forget about you. You're just a minor pest. Okay, so who's Bay? What's the proper way to eat a Pop Tart? Is Julie a girl? Why can't Genesec take a hit? Where's your OTS <laughs> yes, for school? Would you free us? Who do you want? To okay, let's start from the beginning. Who's Bay? In the community or just in general? We're talking about in general who's Bay? Probably. Um. I just have to go with Kate Upton again because I can't think of this right now. I'd have to actually sit down, take out notes, and like think on some like other futuristic shit. All right, what's the proper way to eat a pub tart? We already know this stuff. We go over this every single time my mom comes home with the groceries. You get milk, two percent preferably. Put it over there, slab it to the side in the glass or cup, a plastic cup, whichever one. You take whichever pub tart you're eating. And what you do with them, very, very hard procedure. Two of them on a plate, paper plate. Put them in the microwave. Normally you'd go for about 10 seconds, but you could be that guy, like that one guy who goes for 11. You could. And then take the pop tart, you dip it in the milk, you eat it. It's amazing. Try it. Is Julie a girl? Um, is she? Is she not? Okay. It's funny. Okay, sorry that I just paused. Like, I had the Skype call open, and I was hosting it, and it's funny, my internet just went down. It's crazy. It's crazy, y'all. My internet is gone. Where is it? Where's my internet? Okay, whatever. I'll deal with that later. Why can't Genesec David take a hit? I'm taking his like a lantern. Y'all yeah, are just in a sec. For people who don't know that little joke, um... My mascot used to be Genesect, <laughs> and in in the ODS cipher that we all did, um, apparently he like sneak dissed to me. I guess you could say he said taking hits like a lantern, which is his mascot, and y'all you know, like just Genesect, which was my mascot. So a little sneak diss right there. Where's your ODS response? I don't even know that's supposed to mean. I was in the cipher. I was in the cipher. Or is it, I guess my response is in the cipher. I don't know. Would you ever eat us? Of course not. No. No. And who do I want to see go Super Saiyan God? Vegeta, definitely. Even though I know that he's... I like. I just have that strange, strange gut feeling. He's going God. He's going God. I don't care what anybody says. He's going God. He is going God. Where's my phone? Max? Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, bad. Okay. More man savvy subtitle the next question um and it's funny the savvy subtitle savvy subtitles og he was my first subscriber first subscriber isn't that crazy 
and he's still here. I love Savvy Subtile. Have you ever watched Avatar The Last Airbender? I used to watch it, like, when, like, it was, like, I used to watch it, like, the old version, but I don't watch it anymore. Maybe I should get back into it, I don't know. Do you watch Legend of Korra? No, I do not. I watched, like, the first episode of it, and then I never. Why are you so awesome, man? I'm just here. I'm just here, man. Feeling powerful. Feeling powerful is what? True? Grabs on 1k subs. Thanks, man. And then we have Anesta over here. Porygon 2 or Porygon 2. I hate you so much, Anesta. I hate you so much. For people who don't know, remember that Pokestar challenge thing that was going on? We had a challenge where we had to battle each other. And I was matched up against Anesta and now. That was a... I'd say Anesta and I are pretty good battlers, so it was a good match. So we were two, ba two good battlers put up against each other. Always makes a good match, obviously. And basically what happened was... He had a Porygon 2 on his team, and my last physical attacker that had a fighting time move died, and his Porygon 2, he had 5 Pokemon left, I think I had like, uh, I think I, had, I also had 5, I don't remember the battle that well, and what happened was, he 5 owed me single-handedly with a Porygon 2, it was crazy, I would get him down to the red, he would recover, and I'd just, I'd just, Oh my god, I hate that so much. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, next question from my man Zanins. Alright, tits or ass. I'm more of a tit guy to be honest, because you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspiration for YouTube, like I said, just seeing all the people I watch to do it and being like, why can't I do it? Let me do it, let me do it, let me slide in. Sign the community. Future plans for the channel, I'm assuming. Um keep Wi-Fi there, keep LPs just going, rolling out, and then I don't know if I can think of anything on the spot, but yeah, that's basically the plans. Hopefully I can think of some, uh, some new things. Uh, what is your favorite zombie game? Um, from Proto2. We haven't talked to you two in a while. Hit me up on Skype, though. Alright. Um, what are my favorite zombie? I'd probably have to say, if this counts, I don't know if you'd count it. Black Ops, uh, this, no, 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 not Black Ops, World at War Zombies mode. That would have to be my favorite zombie game, because that's what most people use that game for, is just zombies, so yeah. The Tomato HD, so many people I haven't talked to in a while, hit me up on Skype though, where are you from? I am from Chicago, Illinois. That's where I was born, but now I live in San Diego, California, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exotic Umbreon, where did Expert Gamer come from and where do you live? Right now I live in San Diego, California, like I said. Where did Expert Gamer come from? I was originally gonna make this channel to do all sorts of games. And so that's why I call myself Expert Gamer, because you know I'm an expert, true flex. But um, then I decided to do, you know, let's just do Pokemon. OG, true. Uh, Kitten of Shadows asks, do you like N and how much compared to the other main storyline travel? Alright, I'm gonna start with do you like N then depict the other part. Do you like N? Yeah, N's cool. I liked what happened at the end of Black and White, um, how he became like good, I guess you can say. That was nice. That was real nice. And how much compared to the other main storyline? And how much compared to the other main storyline? Um. Oh, are you saying like, how much do I like Team Plasma? I'm assuming that's what you're saying. Sorry if I butchered your question, man. Um, I like Team Plasma. Team Plasma! And I was like Team Plasma because in the game, you know my friend Plasma RPG? My man Plasma, well, basically, whenever he joins the call, I always say Plasma or Plasma. And I always say that because in the games, they would always say like Plasma. So yeah, I, I just call him Plasma or Plasma. And my man David, Sensational GPS, why do you like, why do I like YouTube? I like YouTube due to all the people I met. That's pretty much what I'm like. And I met so many friends right now. It's crazy. And. And like, it's not even friends that I talk to in the Skype call on the daily, it's like, there are people that I haven't even talked to in calls, but I'm chill with, and like, I like them. So yeah, that's why I like YouTube, just meeting people, and making people happy with videos, so yeah. Next question comes from Kenny Lee, favorite PokeTuber, and do you play any other games except Pokemon? My favorite PokeTuber probably has to be... I don't know if you'd consider him a Poke... Yeah, he does Pokemon on his channel, so he's a PokeTuber, but probably Blame Truth. Or not blame truth, I guess you could say. Um, it's because I'm really into Wi-Fi battling, and he really helps me with um, 
battling and stuff. Looking at his videos, and he's hilarious. He's so funny. So yeah, it's my favorite PokeTuber. And do I play any other games except Pokemon? I play uh, the Call of Duty series, Battlefield, Halo. What else? What else? What else? Minecraft. I guess you'd say yeah. Um, Counter Strike, Payday. I, I I guess I'm gonna open up my Steam right now and tell you games I have. Let's get. Um, where's my Steam? Um. I mean, on Steam though. Hi, I'm Paul. Is my name. I have Ace of Spades, Armor 3, Modern Warfare 2, Castle Crashers, Counter Strike Global Offensive, Counter Strike Source, Dan Odide, Dota 2, Skyrim, L Sword, Gary's Mod, Gotham City Imposters, A Grid 2, Just Cause 2, Left 4 Dead, Loadout, Naruto, Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, No More Room in the Hell, Nas Goth. Um, Payday 2, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform, and War Thunder. Those are the only games I have right now. I plan to build up that library in the future, but yeah, it's pretty much what I'm playing right now. Next question comes from Kenny Lee again. What's your favorite Pokemon type, Gym Leader, and Elite Four Champion? Um, favorite Pokemon? Um, I really like Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a really cool Pokemon, and it's also a really good Pokemon. So yeah, it's one of my favorite Pokemon. My favorite typing probably has to be... Um... Probably it'd have to be Water or Dark. Water or Dark, either one of those. My favorite gym leader would probably have to be Brawly. Just because he was such a hard gym leader to beat. Well, honestly, it just depends on which starter you chose. He was such a hard gym leader to beat, and like Brawly, Dragon Ball Z, a legendary Super Saiyan, so I always liked him because of that. And my favorite Leap 4 champion is Steven, just because Steven's OG. And fun fact, fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire was actually my first games, so Steven was the first champion I ever saw. Next question comes from Dalton Ryzer, what's up yo? How did you meet Nick Nexus and the people of ODS? Who inspired you on YouTube? What state do you live in? Congrats expert, I've been here since 300. Not bad. Alright, so how did I meet Nick Nexus and ODS? So I'll get you, I guess I'll tell you my entire YouTube store on how I met everybody in general. Um, basically, when I first started YouTube, I literally knew nobody. Nobody at all. I started this thing solo and I honestly didn't think I would meet anybody, I didn't think I would really get anywhere, but what happened was, I was just going along with my channel, and I hit around like, I was like around like, like 70 subs or something, and I was just like, you know what, I need to step on my channel, let's get a banner, let's get a banner. And I actually knew Lek, like I didn't know him like Skype call wise, I just followed him on Twitter, cause you know, his GFX are really good, so he was cool for that. And um... What happened was, I was like, let's get a banner from Leg. Let's see how much it is. And I think he told me, was it 10 or 15? I think he told me $15. He had me on Skype and he said, it's $15. And I was like, oh, wait, I don't even have a PayPal. I've never, I, I recently set up PayPal, like, not recently, like six months ago. And, well, no, six months ago was like when I met him. So, like, maybe like four months ago. And, um, what happened was, basically, I, um, I said, I don't have any money on me, but I really need the banner. I said, what's your username on Steam? I'll buy you a game. <laughs> this is the most bootleg way ever to pay for a banner. I bought him Skyrim for a banner. So yeah, I get the first banner, I loved it so much. That was where my mascot was Genesect. I guess I'll, I'll try to put the banner up on the screen right now. I don't know if I still have the banner, but if I do, it'll be right up there on the screen just so you guys can see it. And yeah, so ever since I bought that banner from him, we just started talking and then one day he was like, yo, you want a call? I'm bored. So we got on a call and I guess he just found me chill and we started talking more and more. And then one day he added Seth to the call, Paralyze Hacks, and Seth and I were like day one because we like kicked it off right off the bat. And then we rolled with that crew for a little bit and then he started adding Tomato HD to the call. So Tomato HD is like a homie. Tomato HD is a real homie. And then he started adding LC skills to the call. So that was like the group. Me, Tomash, Seth, Lek, and LC skills. That was the squad right there. Squad. Original squad. So, um, and then what happened was, um, me, Lek, Seth were in a call. And Lek decided to add Shino to the call. Shino World. 
And then we started that little group for a little bit, me, Seth, Lex, you know? And they were just us, like, we would probably stay that way for like a clean month or so, I don't know. And then what happened was one day, just one day out of the blue, um, Lex added Nick to the call. It was so it was me, Lex, Seth, Shino, and Nick. And I don't know, I guess Seth, because Lex and Shino were already in ODS, so it was Lex, Shino, and Nick who was already in that group. And then Seth and I were just there, just chilling. And what happened was, um, what was it, what was it, what was it? What happened was, I don't know, I guess Seth and I just came off like as good people to Nick, and Nick just said, you know what, fuck it, add him into ODS. There you go. So, yeah, I'm very thankful for Lex. Lex, like, the entire reason why I know everybody. And that's why Lex, like, <laughs> Lex that nigga, yo. And Lex is that nigga. So, um, now leading up to your question, how did I meet Nexus? I met Nexus because he was in that group. He's in the group right now. So that's how I met him. So I just started talking to him through there. And, and I guess I just came off as good as... I just came off good to him, too. But it actually was not the first time I was ever in a call with Nexus. I talked to Nexus once before that. And like, it wasn't even talking. It was just the same call, but we were just kind of, like, not talking because it was awkward. It was me and Lekka call, and Lek was working on Nexus's outro. And so Lek added Nexus to the call, and then, yeah, we just didn't speak, really, because it was awkward. And then, yeah, so that's how I met everybody in ODS. Some people don't know. Let me just tell everybody who's who's all in ODS. We got Six Foot Hacks. Challenge, I'm just going to say their YouTube names just so you, like, know. We got Six Foot Hacks, uh, Challenger Approaching, Hoodlum Scrafty, uh, shoot, why do I not remember this guy's YouTube name? Cam, what is your channel? I th Chameleon Games. Wait, is it still Chameleon Games? Oh, no. What is it? Yeah, it's Chameleon Games. I know it is. Chameleon Games. Yeah, Chameleon Games. <laughs> Sorry. And then uh, we got Craig, Sensational GP, Shino World, The Mikey J, Prime Elections, Celeste 95, FA Bay, Ice Cream, Skyward Wing, um, The Great Bulbasaurus, Num Nexus, Noah, Plasma, Snivy, Red Snivy, Youngster Snivy, Shmam Kid, Paralyzed Hex. Uh, Girl Prodigy X, Secret Fire Negro, um, the April Fool. I just read a Skype name. <laughs> I have Rock Band Luigi named as the April Fool, and then Throw. I don't know why that was so hard to read. It's Cause like my second monitor's pushed that way, so the text is all slanted. But yeah, that's all who's in the group. So yeah, who inspired you to do YouTube? Like I said, all the people who I watch. What state do I live in? California. And it's been it's nice that you've been here since 300. Next one is from a man Lance the Trainer. Congrats on 1K. Who is your least favorite Pokemon? Probably would have to be, um, probably Lumineon, just because it like serves no purpose. I just don't like Lumineon due to its irrelevance. And Real Lu 2010 says, "Why is Lemio only logs of thought?" Congrats on 1K, by the way. Thanks for that. And Lemio, Lemio is a thought because. Um, he's a thought because he can't take a thunderbolt. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, do you have a flat top, Craig Master? Okay, funny story behind the flat top. When I first joined, like, the friend group that I'm in, I don't know why. I forgot who said it. I think it was Jacob, Slice Slayer 95 who said it. Because I've never gotten on cam before. Well, I have. They, everybody knows what I look like now because I got on cam. And I post pictures of myself. But, um... Uh, yeah, Jacob said, why do I feel that you have a flat top? But I don't have a flat top, I just have standard hair. Now that having a flat top isn't standard, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. Okay, um, yeah, so he said, why do I, I feel that you have a flat top? And I guess that just came up as a funny joke, so people say I have a flat top for a haircut, but I don't know. So do I have a flat top? No, but I guess in your dreams I do. Timothy Lee says, top six favorite Pokemon, top three YouTuber friends. Top favorite region. Favorite region, I'm just gonna start with St. Hoenn. Top six favorite Pokemon, probably. Tyranitar, number one. Number two, probably Heracross. Number three, probably Sock. Number four, um, number four, um, 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 um probably Conkledur. Number five, uh, probably. Uh, number five, probably Aegislash. Number six, the final one. 
Um, probably. Um, probably Gyarados. Probably Gyarados. I really like Gyarados. Top three YouTuber friends. I don't know what that question means. Um, you so like, uh, I can't really answer that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna pick just three friends. All of my friends. All my friends make nice videos, so I can't really answer that because I want to be biased. And I already answered the favorite region. So next one comes from Turbo Hammer. Do you ever stalk any of your subscribers? See what kind of content they produce all the time, all the time. And I wouldn't really say stalk. That just kind of that just sounds that just comes off weird. Um, I'd say I just look at like if you comment on my channel frequently, I go to your channel to see what like you do. And if like if you just if you're like you make good videos, like I'll subscribe. I like your videos. Is basically how it is like if I want to be supported don't be negative support other people that's pretty much what I do when and how did you start getting more traction like when did my channel start picking up um, um I don't really know it's like just steady growth cuz I started YouTube eight months ago it's kind of been steady growth but when did I really boom is what you're asking me is probably when I'm trying to think of anything dropped that I was in. Probably just the team log with Nigga Nexus. That really helped me. And the co-op that I did with uh, Jacob Slayer95 on his channel, that really helped me as well. So that's probably when I started like picking up more momentum with my channel. And yeah, and the ODS free for alls that's on Sacred Fire and Ego's channel, that really helped me out. So yeah. And I feel you. I do feel I'm not getting anywhere, but I suppose I'll keep open still around. Yeah, just don't give up. It'll, growth will come. If it turns me, if you deserve it and you put time into your videos, it will come. Pokemon Theater says, Do you ever think you'll hit 1K when you start YouTube? By the way, congrats on 1,000. When I started YouTube, I, th I thought that I, I knew that I was going to get to 1K, but it was just timing. I didn't know when I was going to. So, I guess you can say, yeah. I thought I would, but I thought it would take me a really long time. So congrats on 1K, thank you, man. So next one, I have Misen. Drop some questions down below. So drop some questions. Uh, did Teraz already answer this? Did uh, Razor? Do you have any old channels before this one? I've had old channels before this one, but I haven't uploaded on them. So I guess yes, no. I don't know how you can take that. However, Mudlum says, um, Mudkiplum says, how do you like your commission so far? He drew the. He's the one that drew the Kid Goku on the Thunderous Cloud. So yeah, I'm liking it. It, it looks very nice. Very nice. <laughs> You're definitely a very talented artist. So, Mikhail Nimar says, we have to go to the classics. Do you even lift, bro? Um, I don't mean to flex or anything, but occasionally, occasionally I drop some weights on it. True. What is the most frustrating? What is the most frustrating to as a pokeytuber i'm pretty sure you meant what's the most frustrating thing to you as a pokeytuber so um i have to say right now having to re-edit a video i i hate re-editing videos like let's say you upload it and you missed something and you have to take it down re-edit it do all that stuff i hate that so much uh would you let me slide the right through your DMs like you feel me? <laughs> what? What? I mean, yeah, if you want, do. Congrats, my nigga. Thanks. All right, LC Star says, "Cats are dogs." I'm. I like cats a lot, but I'd have to. I'd have to say I'm a cat person. I really like cats. Cats are so cool. Favorite flavor of pop tart? I'd have to go with cinnamon. Definitely. Rap battle me. Hit me up on Skype though. We spit them bars. Pokemon Avenue says, what's your favorite anime? My favorite anime is Dragon Ball Z. Like, Dragon Ball Z is that show. It is that show. If you have not seen it, go watch it. All of it. All 291. Titties Raz already answered this. Tids, of course. Will you ever play Pitch Black? They replaced the gyms and now Drayden. For example, as a girl from Anarchy Knife. Maybe you'll try it out in the future. New LP. New OP. I don't know. I don't know, man. 
thanks for uh, dropping it there. I'll definitely check it out. Alex the Swamper Master says, What is your favorite Pokemon? Pokemon Gen, Pokemon Type, Move, Movie, and Pokemon Attack. My favorite Pokemon, like I said, Tyranitar. Pokemon Gen, Third. Pokemon Type, Water, Dark. Pokemon Move. Um, Pokemon Move and Attack is the same thing. So Pokemon Move. Oh no, that says... Oh no, Pokemon Move. Um, probably would have to be... I really like Ice Beam for some reason. I really like the move Ice Beam. The animation for it was always nice. It's just a pleasing move to look at. And also Draco Meteor. So either one of those two. And my favorite Pokemon movie was probably... Probably the Mewtwo movie or the Genesect movie. Either one of those, but probably the Mewtwo one. So Star Power Games says, How did you meet all the people you game with today? Like I said, Lek, he like really helped me out there. How old are you? I am 14 years old. Who made you? What made you start YouTube? Seeing everybody else do it, like that stuff. Congrats. Thank you. Alex the Swampert says, congrats, a little continuation from his thing. Thank you, man. Old School Sin says, congrats, thank you, Sin. Thomas Alexander says, congrats on 1,000 subs, man, you deserve it. Did you ever think you would reach 1,000 subs? Favorite PokeTuber? Favorite move? Band? Pokemon move? And game? Game? Ruby Sapphire? Move? Draco Meteor and, um, Draco Meteor and Ice Beam? PokeTuber Blim Truth and do I ever think I'd hit 1000? Yes, but in time. And then my final question, well not really a question, but my final comment is from Chargers79665. He says, congrats. Thank you. And thank you guys for making a thousand subscribers possible. Thank you guys for making my first Q&A possible by answering all your questions. I had a lot of fun doing this. This was, this was a 30 minute recording. God damn. <laughs> I love you guys so much, but um... Like I said, thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. There's a lot of you new people joining the channel. I hope you guys really are enjoying my content. We got a new, brand new LP starting tomorrow. So that's going to be very, very fun. And I hope that LP does really good because I put on a lot of work making graphics for it. So yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like to show your support. As always, I'm Expert Gamer. Peace out, everybody.